What is up guys? The day has arrived. The game is out worldwide for Android players. Half of my viewers, my iOS homies, their hearts all sunk. We're gonna talk about Android versus iOS today. We're gonna get a debate going. I'm gonna share my opinion on what I think is the better platform, or at least the pros and cons. Go ahead and debate it below, because this is something people just get insanely crazy about. We're gonna talk about changes the developers have made in the game, and then we'll discuss some of my feedback on how we can improve this game. So let's go ahead and get into a live commentary and gun game. Please excuse me because I kinda suck, uh, because I haven't played this game in a few months. Since I'm playing on a test build, I just haven't been able to play because it hasn't been linked up with Android, and so, yeah, I kind of suck. I I did a few practice rounds so I could try to get my skill level back up, but now that the game is live, my com commitment to you guys is I will be bringing this game to the channel once a week, and I'll try to stream this game at least once every two weeks. It's really difficult for me to stream right now because of my schedule, but I'm going to try my best. Get, oh my gosh, get wrecked, dude. Get wrecked. What's going on? Dude, what's going on with my aim? I deserve to die. I really deserve to die after being that newbie. No! So my aim is a little bit off. First, let's talk about Android versus iOS. So here's the thing. And if you're going to hate me for this, you're just a, a thin-skinned, snowflaked, like, grow up hair man, because you shouldn't be getting pissed at about what I'm going to say, because what I'm going to say is truth. And anybody who's played on Android and iOS can admit this. The problem with, uh, with Android, and the reason why a lot of the developers are coming out on Android first, it's because Android's kind of a cluster, all right? The devices there on Android are cheaper. Yes, it's more flexible. Yes, um, Apple does restrict you a lot on iOS. That is very true. So if you want flexibility, if you want cheaper... Why am I treating this like a sniper? What am I doing? Uh, if you want more flexibility, you go Android. If you want cheaper prices, typically, you go Android. Well, the issue is Android, because they don't really have a vetting process, the Google Play Store is a cluster. It is just whatever wants... Whatever developers want to throw up there will go in there. Like, there's no vetting process. It doesn't matter what the crap it is. Any piece of crap gets into the App Store. So it's just a bunch of nonsense there, a bunch of craziness, and not very high-quality apps. I mean, they have the standard high-quality apps, but they also have everything else. Also, most of the hacking community... I just thought that guy right in the balls. Most of the hacking community is over on Android because it's easier to hack. Again, because it's open platform, it's easier to hack. So that's the issue with Android. Um, developers will tell you they make a lot more money on iOS than they do on Android. I don't know if that's because there's more hackers or iOS people are more used to spending money. I don't know what the reason that is, but you can't argue with the fact that the Google Play Store is just more of a cluster than the iOS App Store. So that's my opinion. It is what it is. Um, so for that reason, a lot of people, a lot of developers, they're coming out on Android first, and then they're stopping and they're not coming out on iOS until the game is better because they want the game to be not perfect, but as good as it can be, because iOS just has this higher standard of quality. Apple has to vet the app. It's harder to get released in the App Store, as well as players are probably gonna spend a lot more money on the iOS devices. And so they, what are, what a weird spawn. I have to, wow, I don't like that spawn. All right, we have to jump. Um, so anyways, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so they have to vet the game on Apple, as well as since people spend more money, you only have one time to make a good first impression. So if people download this game, you know, and it doesn't work well, they're gonna get, they're gonna go somewhere else. That's what's gonna happen. So the developers, they're working on updating the user interface before they release on iOS, but so many people had the game already on Android, they thought, screw it, we're just gonna release on Android. So please, if you're an Android player, go to the App Store, the Google Play Store, and give this thing five stars, because we need to tell developers that uh, we are okay with a non-pay-to-win model. It's time for us to stand up as players. This is a game by the players, for the players. It's time for us to stand up as United Gamers and show the developer community that we won't deal with pay-to-win, and this game is not pay-to-win. On that note, we'll talk about um, how this game makes money. As you guys know, um, you can unlock everything in the game for free. Um, the only thing that costs is if you want to progress faster, all right? So you can pr progress and unlock everything, I would say, fairly quickly, like compared to Modern Combat 5 and some of these others. You can progress fairly quickly. The other way you can spend uh, money on the game is you can buy, of course, skins. Oh my gosh, my aim, dude. My aim. See, that's my aim right there. It's bad. It's bad. It's really bad. So if you want to progress more quickly, you can spend money. If you want to buy skins, you can spend money. That's how... Uh, and sometimes they'll have unique items, but it's not going to be stuff that's going to give you, like, an unfair advantage. Um, so give it five stars. If you have money and you want to spend money, fine. But the main thing is, this game costs a lot to run. Right now, they're running at just about $1,000 a month just to run the servers to house the multiplayer, so they need money. That's why they have to charge for something. They can't make it entirely free. Also, you know, it costs to get it costs uh, to get the maps built, the guns built, 
um, all the coating, everything else that's going on. It's very, very expensive. Tens and tens of thousands of dollars. This guy's right over there. Can I hit him to, to run this game? So that's why it's not completely free with everything unlocked out of the get-go. Um, but still, it is it is a free-to-play game. It really is. You can download the game for free. You can unlock everything for free if, uh, if you just grind. So, oh my gosh. Wow. I got a triple on myself. Double and a triple. We're on to the MPX. The gameplay's been absolutely horrid because I've been really focusing more on the commentary. We gotta come around the corner here and where is this guy gonna be? Where are you? Where? Where? Where is he? Dude, the guys, the guys in this map, they just get up on the hills. They get up on the hills. All right. So I gotta learn the maps again. I gotta get my skill level up again. Next week, I promise I'll be much better as far as the quality of the gameplay. Um, it's like I'm relearning the maps. Also, since I've been playing so much Critical Ops, the ga this game is just so, is very, very different mechanics. Yes, I was worried that our magazine was empty right there. Uh, so, from my perspective, this game is more casual. Um, Critical Ops is more competitive. And um, so I like casual better. And my, I, I like it better. Also, th this game has a lot more variety in game modes, secondary weapons, um, the throwables. Just a lot more variety and even things like as simple as aiming down sight. Critical Ops is just hit fire for days. And to me, that gets a little monotonous. Um, and that's why I, I prefer Bullet Force just fits my style more so that's my opinion you guys can let me know what you want to know below okay now some, now for some feedback um, or some changes the developers made so I think they're working on a new map right now I'm not exactly sure um, the other thing is they changed the spawns the spawns are much more close together um, basically what it does is it reads the map and it, it won't spawn you right in, on top of somebody but it will spawn you where the action is so you don't have to run across the map because these maps are big a lot of the maps are big kind of the battlefield-esque style which doesn't really work as much on mobile because it's, since it's not a PC game as Battlefield is, it has big wide open maps. And I am a FPS noob when it comes to Battlefield or any PC or console FPS. I only know mobile FPS. I just know for me that maps are too big. And to counter that, uh, they changed the spawn. So it's just going to be more action, more fun. Why is this UAV not working? There we go. We got it. Finally. Finally. Somebody's coming. Where are you at, dude? There we go. There we go. Somebody's up top here. Oh, he's up there. You see him? Let's kill him. Oh my gosh, he's hiding. What, what's what's going on? There we go. We sniped you, dude. Good thing we got the sniper there. So that's pretty cool. What else been changed? The background music on the main menu, that's been changed. That's pretty cool. Hold on. Oh my gosh. Did I kill that guy? No, somebody knifed him. I was like, my aim was off. I don't like that scope. Luckily, we got the two kills. We'll come back. Let's go back this way. So just a, some feedback for the developer, or uh, I would like to get you players' perspective on this too. I feel like the knife is overpowered. Everybody has their knife overlaid on the trigger, so if you're anywhere near somebody, it'll it'll go to the knife. And it's just overpowered with one slice. Um, like, people don't even shoot because the knife just pops out. In fact, it's even better than the butterfly knife, in my opinion, because it will go when you're about to shoot and you're close to somebody. It'll automatically switch to knife, and you can get the one slice. I think it should be two shots, in my opinion. How did I get to 30? I do not feel like I'm at 30. I don't feel like I should be there. So I got to get my final two kills in gun game. So I think the knife should be two, two slashes. Um, so that's one piece of feedback. Crap, dude. That sucks. Uh, there's also a glitch right now. I, it might happen in the next game where the first spawn, it's spawning me on top of somebody. All the spawns after that are clean, but that's the first spawn. So that's the second piece of feedback. Other than that, the game for me runs very smooth. This guy is stuck right there. Boom. See ya. All right, let's go. Last kill. I got to redo my buttons a little bit so I can... Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. Yes! We got the kill. That guy went 38 and 5 because he got knifed so much. So knifing, for me, is the main thing that needs to be nerfed. Bullet Force is out worldwide. Go download it today. Give it a five-star review. Let's support these independent small developers who have been working on this game for countless hours for well over a year, putting in hard work, sweat, equity, and tons of their own money pouring into the game. Support the game. Download the game. Rate the game high. Let's do it, guys. We'll see you next week. Bullet Force will be a consistent game on the channel. And iOS, guys, I will keep you posted. Take care, guys. Peace.